Green screen remover shader is here, which is better known as chroma key shader. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am finally back from my sabbatical and today we will look at how to create a chroma key shader in Godot using visual shader. For this I am using Godot 4.2 and I have also installed an add-on called shaderlib. Make sure you get the version 2.1.0. I have recently updated it. Alright, with that out of the way. Let's get started. Okay, so in my scene, I have a texture rect with this nice cat texture. And we will key out the green color using our chroma key shader. So first, let's create a visual shader. Now we are creating a shader for 2D item. So make sure to select the mode canvas item. I will call it chroma key shader. Now let's create a material for our shader. Assign our shader to our material and we will apply our material to our texture rect material slot. In our visual shader, let me drag and drop our cat texture just for educational purposes. Okay, so we have this texture and we want to key out this green color. For that, let's create a color mask node. Feed our texture 2D in the input in. Now this color mask node will return one for the color we want to mask and it returns zero for the rest. We want to mask the green color, so let's feed it in our color mask slot. Now this range input specifies the hue range of our color mask. Higher the value, more shades of the color to mask. Lastly, this fuzziness input will smooth out the edges, similar to anti-aliasing. Now we have white where we have our mask color and black values for the rest. We only want to show our cat, so we want opposite of this. So we will invert the color using one minus node. One minus as the name suggests, subtract whatever values we feed in from one. In our case, it will invert the colors. Then we will take our 1 minus node's output and feed it into the alpha slot. Also take our texture 2D node's output and feed it into the color slot. And this is all the logic for our chroma key shader. However, we have directly taken the cat texture from our resources. In reality, we want to key out the color from the texture we have assigned to our texture rect. So to access this texture, we can use texture variable. Take its output and feed it into our texture 2D sampler 2D. Now we have this error because we have connected the sampler port but we are using pre-assigned texture. So to fix the error, simply select sampler port from the drop down. Now we cannot see the previews anymore, but it will work just fine. Finally, we want the ability to modify these three inputs from the inspector. So let's create three parameters for that. One color parameter and two float parameters. And we have our chroma key shader. We can adjust our shader parameter to key out the green color. Now more practical use for this shader is in video player. So let me just change the type of my node to video stream player. I have this nice cat video. Let me assign it to the stream slot. 
then I will check the autoplay to automatically play the video when we hit play and I will also loop the video. Remember we have already assigned the material in our material slot. Let me hit play and boom we have a nice green screen remover shader. Although we can practically remove any color we want and that's pretty much the video. If you find the video helpful hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions post them in the comments. Wishlist Cosmic Roads on Steam. That's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one.